and the tractor just started regenning. So now I gotta let it run. Sweet. So the R Series John Deere tractors, the uh, Tier 4 engines, they have a diesel particulate filter, DPF is what you hear it referred to a lot. And uh, let me step away from the tractor for a second, it's a little loud. But uh, these things, you'll notice they don't spew the black smoke, which is sad. Well, it makes the environment right, but for you and I, we like black smoke. Um, but anyway, the diesel particulate filter, what it does is it collects all the soot that builds up in the engine or the exhaust over time in a big canister under the hood. If you ever pop your hood and you'll see it. And what it does is every number of hours as the soot level builds up and there's a computer on the tractor that calculates what percentage it's at, once it gets to a certain level, it will either automatically regen, which is 95% of the time unless you stop it and say, hey, I want to force this thing to do a regen. And side note, if you do a forced regen, you have to have a certain threshold between or a certain threshold of the soot level and a certain number of hours between regens. There for a while, when I first got my tractor, I had an issue where, well, not an issue, but I was trying to get it to regen because I was at like, you know, 50 some odd percent of soot and it wouldn't do it. But it took me some digging in the manual and with the dealer to realize that you can't force it all the time. Uh, but like I said, 95% of the time it'll do a regen on its own, which is what mine did. I was using it and just started regening. I think my soot's at 77% or it was. I'll show you the computer here in a second. And you can hear it now. It's that not at idle. It's a little bit, a few ticks above. And, uh, once I start operating this thing a little bit more, you'll really hear that the port on the top of the hood will open up and it'll just start, the heat coming off of that is pretty incredible. And what it does is it injects diesel fuel in there and burns at a hotter temperature to burn off all that soot. I think 20 or 25 minutes is probably what it runs. Now you can push the button on there and stop it from regenning if you want, but let me show you kind of what, uh, what mine's doing right now. Soot level is at 76%. It wasn't 77 a minute ago. And there's the indicator light saying that it's on. If you wanted to do a parked regen, there's a few steps, but I know you gotta push this parked regen button and a couple other things. And, or if you're operating and you don't want it to go into regen automatically, you can hit that button there. So typically these tractors exhaust down here, and right now, there is nothing coming out of the exhaust down here. And so unless you have a, a stack, an optional stack on your tractor, this port up top never really gets used for exhaust, but for when it is regenning. And right now, man, I can't, it's hot. You can hear it kind of coming out of there. And uh, once you work this thing under load too, it really opens up, and I'll show you that here in a minute. It puts off a significant amount of heat, and it has to to burn up that soot that's in there. Um, so if this starts happening on your tractor, don't worry about it. Don't freak out. Just let it do its thing. Like I said, probably 20, 25 minutes, but I'll time it for you guys at the end and let you know. Um, it's normal. It happens. So anyone with a R-Series tractor or a Tier 4 engine, it doesn't matter if you're Deer, Kubota, Mahindra, etc. The Tier 4s all have this now. At least 95%, I do believe. Um, so don't sweat it. It's not a big deal. Now, you do want to let it go through its, through its whole process. I think you can turn it off in the middle of the process, but I don't think it's advised. I'm not sure why. I know it'll repick it or it'll pick itself back up and get going again. Here's something else I want to show you. So there you go. That's the setting on the uh, dash. If you flip through PPF hour, it says 46 hours and 51 minutes since last regen. So if you ever want to check to see where yours is at in the lifespan of a regen between hours or between cycles, there you go. And you hit the. Uh, and hitting this button is how you cycle it. So I can go through here and show you. It's my engine hours, ground speed, PTO. There you go. And there's my soot level. Still 76%. It'll start coming down here in a little bit. All right, so if you guys want to hear what this region sounds like, uh, start opening up the throttle little more as opposed to when I'm just sitting there but under load I'm towing this barge wagon with probably four yards of dirt or so you'll hear it open up you'll hear it start burning off pretty good it's spewing 
feeling some serious heat right now. One thing you will notice when your tractor's regening is the smell. It smells like a hot new machine. Don't be alarmed, that's just how it smells. I think mine's regened, oh gosh, I don't know, four or five times in the several years I've had it. Um, I will say, don't park it under a tree. I parked mine under my buddy's oak tree. And the first branches were like 20 feet up, but it scorched all the leaves off of it. So that's pretty cool. My tractor finally just stopped regenning, and uh, well, I stand corrected. Mine ran for like an hour and 10 minutes before it finally wrapped everything up. I will say though, it was basically at idle. Whenever it regens, it at, uh, it'll kick the RPMs up a little bit. I don't even know what the number is, but uh, this is idling behind me right now. So it'll bump it up, maybe three or 400 RPMs and run. But if you were out bush hogging or doing loader work and you had the RPMs all the way up, you could cut that down, that time down significantly. I know I've done it in the past, probably, like I said, 20 to 40 minutes, depending upon what you're doing um, or not. But, but yeah, so that's the regen process. Sorry it was a little bit of a helter skelter video impromptu as this thing doesn't regen that often, so I thought I'd capture it while I was working on something else today. If you're interested, I'll throw the link in for that other video too. Uh, but if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'll try to answer them as best I can. I'm not an expert, but I've been through this regen thing several times on this tractor, so I'm familiar with what it is and what to expect when it happens. Appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check back for more. And we hope to see you in the future on the channel. Take care.